Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for GainandHear.com. In this video, I'll be showing how we can use the Dynamic Views module from Data Springs to display data that you have saved uh, by using the Dynamic Forms module from Data Springs as well. So we, in videos uh, prior to this, I have uh, I have covered how to use the Dynamic Forms module. It's a uh, it's a module that uh, you can build a form from Data Springs. Now. What happens is that when you collect information, you collect data, users fill out those forms, the data is saved, but to present that data, yes, there is a feature in the dynamic forms that allows you to, to query the data, to, to check the data, even to export the data. But if you want to present that data in a slightly better way, in a web-based way, uh, this module does exactly that. It integrates well with uh, dynamic uh, dynamic forms module by Data Springs as well, but not only that, it also allows you to query to to write a, a custom query for any table that you may have on your database, or even to to display data from a particular table. You can select a table and you can display the information there. But this video will focus on how we can use the dynamic views module to show data saved by the Dynamics Forms module. Now, let me give an example here. If we go to our test site, this is a DNN 561. I have uh, created a, a very simple form, a contact us form with a couple of fields um, that this is used in Dynamic Forms. So let me log into the back end and show how the data is presented uh, when when someone saves that, uh, that that information, let's do a quick example here. Let's go to Internet Explorer. Let's go to Contact Us. I'm gonna fill this form as John, John at Smith.com, and this is this was through Google. Hi, how are you? Okay, just a simple message here. Let's click Submit. The information was submitted. Now let's go back to Firefox. I'm going to log in here as super user, or I could do that as admin as well. Now, if I go to the contact us page, I can, and this is again dynamic forms module. Uh, if I go to the action menu of dynamic forms module, I can go to resort to advanced features, and then I can click on view form results. If I click there, I can see that uh, there were two entries here. I can view the details. See, this this was the one that we just did. Email, a name, email, how did you hear about us, message. I have done another example as well. If I go back there, view form results. If I click on the second one, this is another test that I have done. Now, not the most friendly way that you could present this data. Maybe you want to present the data uh, to to users in general. Maybe this is not a contact us. Maybe this is a form that needs to be filled out, and the information saved should be should be shown in a different page for for all users to see or only for admin users to see. It doesn't matter too much. What it matters is that there must be a better way to present that data instead of just by doing what we have just done here. Now, what we'll be doing is very simple. We're going to install the Dynamic Views module and we're going to try to, to use its feature that integrates directly into the Dynamic Forms module and see how it can present the data in a in a better uh, in a in a better appealing way. Okay, so let's go back to our test site. I'm going to install the Dynamic Views module here. If I go to Host Module Definitions, I will go to the Action menu, and I'm going to click on Install Module. I'm going to click Browse. I'm going to select the module here, Dynamic Views module. I'm going to click on Open, hit Next. Next, again, just a simple, normal, regular installation of a uh, .NET 2 module. So click Next again, accept license, and hit Next once again. 
Let's check if everything went fine. Installation successful. Perfect. So let's click return. Now let's have a quick look and see if it's here. Okay, so we can see dynamic views module installed. Let's create uh, another page here. New page that will that we will add this module to it. Let's let's call it um, results results form results and let's make this including the menu. Let's not make this visible to our users. Let's just keep it uh, to tradmin users. So we're not going to check this option. Parent page will not be host. It will be uh, none. It will go to the top menu navigation. It will be placed right after contact us. And let's click update. Okay, so this is visible to admin only. That's fine. I'm going to remove the text module from this new page. And I'm going to add the dynamic views module. So it's right here. I'm going to select it. I'm going to add the module to the page. Now, as a tradition from Data Springs, so you, you also, right away, you can see some high level options here that we can start using the module right after. So let's set up initial settings here. Let's see what this will bring us. So right here, you can already see that dynamic views module can connect to a table or a view. It can connect to a dynamic forms instance or to a custom SQL query. Now, in our specific case, we are trying to, to link this together, to link the dynamic views module together with the dynamic forms module to present the data in a, in a better way. So we're going to explore this option here, dynamic forms instance. instance. So under the, under the data source, we can select the table or view. We can select the, the dynamic forms instance or a custom SQL. Now, it's not our case here. What we're going to choose is the dynamic forms instance, which very nicely done. You can see the drop down already. It's already selected. It, it, it what it has done here is basically uh, the module has already queried the, the, the database and knows that in the contact us page, there is a module there. There is a dynamic forms module there. So it's bringing that up to you right away. Now, if your site would have multiple instances of the dynamic forms module, I'm sure that this drop down here would show the different instances so you could select the one that you want. Now, the next field is limits results by user ID. This option will, will basically give you the option to show records, to show entries only saved, only created by the current user. This is not our case. Uh, I mean, we want to show all the, all the entries from the database. So we will not check this option. External connection. I don't think it's applicable to dynamic forms instance. Now I'm going to experiment clicking on, on this generate column names link. Let's see what happened. Perfect. Very good. Uh, this, this is actually what I was expecting. What happened here is that, uh, because I have selected this module, it's already bringing the fields from that were created in the dynamic forms instance used in the contact us form. So it does have unique ID, which is an internal identification user ID that has submitted. We can actually remove those, but we're not going to be doing that right now. This is the end of part one of the video on how to use the dynamic views module from data springs to display data saved via the dynamic forms module.